Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm on a roll right now. I just filmed it like what? Three days ago, four days ago, whatever. Yeah, I got so many positive comments on my last video. So many positive tweets and DMs and just positive feedback. And it just made me so happy that I was like, I wanna, I wanna film again. It just goes to show that lifting people up puts them in a good mood and it makes them smile. And there's just so much going on in the world and on the internet. I just feel like it's kind of my duty to be a bright spot for you guys and just bring some simple minded, easy, like mindless content that's just like fun for all of you makeup lovers out there. My last video was all about my favorite Amazon purchases, you know, just like simple stuff, like easy peasy, you know? But as you guys can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a massive, massive Sephora haul. I have not done a Sephora haul in so long. When I first started YouTube, this was like the vibe, like Sephora hauls and favorite videos. That was all the rage and they are still my favorite videos. And I feel like no one just simply sits down and talks about all the stuff that they buy. I have been so excited about makeup as of recently. I'm not saying this as a joke. I know I'm like light about it and like, haha, I use comedy as a relief. But ever since I came out of my depression that I was in for a very long time, I have just re-fallen in love with makeup. I have spent so much money on makeup, so much time just playing with makeup and I feel like a kid again almost. Like I just am enjoying it so much. I'm enjoying doing my makeup and just swatching it and I'm just having fun with it. So last week I literally blacked out on Sephora. I ordered like 63 products, I think. I don't know if I'm gonna show every single thing because this video will literally end up being an hour, especially with me geeking out over every single product, but I just got so excited like with everything on Sephora. Not to mention, I'm working on so many products of my own for my own cosmetic line, which is just like so exciting. So trying out other things that people are working on and getting inspired by like, ooh, like this is amazing, but like how could I give the world something that's like different, you know? Just like something unique, you know? I'm just like having fun. I showed you guys this this gigantic box. Oh my God, my thigh. I'm not kidding, my phone was hot. Like, I was like, my phone felt like it was like 100 degrees because my DMs were just like, boom, 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 boom. Like every time I refreshed it, it was like 50 new DMs. 50 new DMs of people just being like, we need a haul, we need a haul. And I'm like, hell yeah, I love a haul. I didn't think that you guys were even into this anymore. So I got a ton of stuff, but I am gonna put this into a prettier basket because this just looks so unappealing on camera. And we worked hard on my backdrop. The lighting, the vibe, we styled the blanket. This was stressful. It took us quite a while to make this look right. So I'm not gonna destroy the appeal of the cardboard box. All of my purchases barely even fit into this basket, that's aggressive. So let's just start talking about the stuff that I bought. Okay, so I'm gonna try as hard as possible to go in categories of things because I have so much, I feel like it's just gonna get like really messy and kind of like, ah, for you guys. So I wanna start off with my blackout that I had with this brand. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry, you guys. Sol de Janeiro is the way I'm assuming that it's pronounced. I could be so completely off. But the reason why I purchased a bunch of stuff from this brand is because I owned a body highlight from them like two years ago and I used to talk about it on my channel and the smell of it was so freaking good. And I just all of a sudden saw that brand on Sephora and I was like, wait a minute, I only own one product by them. I need to buy some more. So I kind of went in. Okay, so the first thing I got from them was this Brazilian nude cream. And the reason that this intrigued me so much is because the bottle itself was just so cute. Like look at these little ladies just like chilling in the nude, like with the pump. I love a pump with my body cream. Like I'm such a sucker for that. Cause I can keep it on my countertop or on my nightstand and just and move on with my life. But this is fragrance free with smoothing passion flower. And then on the back, it also says that it's vegan friendly, cruelty free, paraben free, and formulated without any gluten. It says that it's luxurious moisture, soothing comfort, and dermatologist tested. So I'm just really interested in this. There's no point in me opening it up and trying to like pump it and show you guys. Cause like, what am I gonna possibly tell you? It has no scent and I'm not gonna be able to like, let you smell it or explain it to you. But I'm really, really excited to try this. I will totally tell you if I guys, if I, <laughs> I will totally tell you if I like it over on my Insta story because I love body anything, body oils, body wash, body lotion, body cream, hand cream, moisturizer of any sort, anything that's gonna make me feel like, mm, I'm about that life. Okay, this next one right here, this is the Coco Cabana cream and I got the little mini version just because I don't wanna like waste money if I end up not liking it and I'm not really good at returning things, but it smells, I already smelled it earlier. It smells out of this world like coconut, 
beachy summer, but it doesn't have like that weird false coconut and like SPF type kind of strange vibe that sometimes can happen. It just smells absolutely amazing. And it says on the front of it that it is a moisture plush that, so <laughs> moisture plush cream that hugs your body with deep hydration for skin that feels soft and bouncy and looks irresistibly touchable. Again, it's just a body lotion. It's a body cream. I want to try it because I love lotions and I love body creams. And during the summertime, I love to smell like kind of like coconutty and beachy. Like I totally change up my fragrance in the summer than in the winter. I like different vibes and different smells and different scents. Just the way I like different makeup looks, different hair looks, summer versus winter. This is their Bum Bum Oil and it's an SPF 30 sunscreen, which really, really excites me because I, I love, 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 love using an oil as my sunscreen. I don't really like using lotions. I feel like I'm way more hydrated and like all lubed up and very shiny and dewy and oily, but also protecting my skin from the sun because I'm a psychopath about protecting myself from the sun. Like I do not go out in the sun. If I'm gonna be in a bathing suit or like by a pool or on a boat, I'm wearing SPF 50. I just don't even care about a natural tan. Like I can use my sunless tanner and be just fine. I just care about protecting my skin and not having like wrinkles and sunspots and all that stuff. I destroyed my skin when I was younger and I learned my lesson and I'm over it. <laughs> but this is so cute. I didn't even notice this online. It has like a ton of really fine glitter in it and it also has a little surfboard that's floating around in there. You probably can't even see it, but the very top, do you you see it? There's like a little surfboard. that's just like floating inside of it. That's super cute. This right here is just their Brazilian Crush Body Spray. So all this is is just a body fragrance mist, which I love. I used to be, obs I, weren't we all obsessed with like the Victoria's Secret sprays when we were younger? What's it called? But it was so popular, but it was the Victoria's Secret Vanilla Something Body Spray and I was obsessed. I love body sprays. Woo! They don't stay on your skin as long as a parfum would. I love them so much because it's just like so easy. You can just like drench yourself as soon as you get out of the shower and you're just like, mm, yes, I smell amazing. Oh, this smells just like their body highlight. So yummy. It's like a summer dream, like coconutty, just like yummy. Like I feel like this is like, oh, like sexy girl just like got off the beach. It's like golden hour at sunset. Like you're just sitting there like, you know, maybe like a little white flowy dress, like a little makeup, but just like, you know, a little, little cheek stain, little lip stain, just like, mm -hmm, I'm perfect. And this is your scent. You're just like, oh, life is good. That's what this smells like. 100%. Another product by the exact same brand. I told you guys I really blacked out. This is their Glow Motions Rio Sunset Glow Oil. And I am so excited to try this. Like, so excited. It says that it's translucent, transfer resistant, shimmer for body and face. Oh, bitch, I'm trying this right now. I can't wait. I don't want this to squirt everywhere. <laughs> That's what she said. Looks like these. I have high hopes. Oh, bitch! <gasps> If you need a man, I just I just found your solution. Not saying that this is your man, saying this will get you a man. I'm just telling you genuine first impression. This is freaking beautiful. I'm not kidding, my arm doesn't even feel like my arm. It feels so soft. I gotta even it out, I gotta put it on both arms now. Look at that. That is so beautiful. And it literally smells like a fragrance. Like it smells like this is a, Perfume. All right, the last two things I got from that brand, this right here is a moisturizing shower cream gel. I got the little size just because I want to try it because again, I was really excited about how good this brand smells. So also I love creams in the shower or like body oils in the shower. Cause then when I get out, I feel like I don't have to moisturize myself as aggressively because I already did half of the job in the shower. And this one right here is the Brazilian Kiss Chapstick. It's just so good. This is a repurchase for me. I have owned two of these before. So good. It really does moisturize your lips and it just feels so nice and it smells so yummy, like nice and soft, but just smells like kind of warm and kind of summery and just good. These are the only two like skincare items that I got outside of that brand. And this right here, everybody uses this. This is the Ola Hendrickson. That's how you say it, right? Yeah, Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. It's just supposed to brighten up your under eye. I actually have purchased this before, but I never actually got around to using it. I bought it and then I forgot who was at my house and they're like, I love this stuff. And I was like, I've had it for a month and a half and I haven't used it yet, just take it. So I bought a new one because I just want to see how it works. I'm all about brightening the under eye and making it look nice and fresh and alive. Although, the eye cream by La Mer in the green jar, I cannot believe how much it brightens my under eye. It doesn't even say like that it's a brightening under eye cream, but like if I spent the whole night crying, <laughs> you know, that's what we do as cancers. And I wake up the next morning and my under eyes just have like the worst circles. I put that on there and it's like, it makes it better by 50%, which is amazing. So 
Hoping that that one is gonna help out a lot too. This right here is by the brand Super Goop and it's called Glow Queen and this is an SPF 40. And I bought it just because I love the fact that it's an SPF that has a glow to it. So let's see how shiny and pretty it actually makes the skin look. I'm always looking for SPFs that don't irritate my skin, don't clog my pores, and I love the idea of it giving me a little luminosity. All right, you guys, here is like the real blackout. This right here <laughs> is all mascara. <laughs> Why do I have to be so extra? So I mentioned in my last video and my Amazon favorites that I have been really embracing my natural lashes recently. Not today, I'm obviously wearing fake lashes. I have been really embracing my natural lashes recently and honestly only putting on false lashes like every several times I do my makeup. And I have been on the hunt for like the best mascaras ever and I'm still in the middle of the hunt. But this started like maybe two and a half to three months ago. I bought so many mascaras and as of right now, there's one by Fenty and there's one by Lancome that I wear all the time. Also one by YSL. Like those three, I'm like using them constantly. I use them all together, I use them separate. I love them for different reasons. I'm not done with my hunt. I wanna find like the best mascaras ever and then I'll be able to share with you guys what I think after trying basically everything on the market. So that's kind of like my journey right now is just trying everything that I possibly can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbox every single one of these mascaras and I'm going to hold them up for you and show you which ones I got. Okay, so now that I have them all out of their package right here, this is so dramatic. Let me just show you guys really quickly what it is that I got. So I did get a couple mascaras I have tried before. Like for instance, I've tried this Urban Decay Perversion one before right here. I have also tried this Lancome Hypnose before as well. I just remember really liking it because the wand right there, like that's a promising wand. And that's how I pick out all of my mascaras online as I just look at the wand. I don't even care about the reviews. I don't care what people have to say. I know the kind of wand that I like. So I look at the pictures of the wand and I go to Google and I'll type it in if I wanna get crazy and I'll look Get images on Google of the wand and I'm like, yes, now I know I want it. And then there's the Tarte Lights Camera Action one right here, which you guys have seen me use a million times. It's a great basic mascara, but I just feel like I've never really given any mascara like it's fair shot like I have been recently. Recently, I've just been like so obsessed with like really like building up my lashes and being like, hmm, what's good, what's not. I feel like in the past, I kind of just like slapped on a mascara and just like went on with my day and didn't really like think about it. So I'm really being very judgy wudgy about mascaras now all of a sudden. I got these two products from Grande Lash, which makes me really nervous because I tried their lash growing serum like six years ago. It was called um, Grande Lash MD, I think, and I was so allergic to it. My eyes were basically swollen shut. It was horrible. So I don't know what I was thinking buying two more products from them, but I just wanna see how they work. This one right here is the Grande Primer, but I'm really interested in trying primers. This guy is like a little fine tooth comb, looks like that. Some primers I have tried make the situation even worse. And now it's like your eyelashes look super, super, super chunky and like flaky, but I'm open to trying things. And this right here is their mascara, the Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. Again, it's all about the wand for me. I love that wand. I personally think when it comes to mascara, it is not about the formula, it is about the wand. Unless the formula flakes. <sighs> There's nothing I hate more than a flaky mascara. I got this Buxom mascara. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this one. It was kind of like weary even when I saw the photo, but still I'm like, let's give it a try. I'm in a mood right now. I'm trying out mascaras. It's what we're doing. This one actually really excites me. The packaging is so different. It's like, it kind of looks like a vibrator. <laughs> the gold bullet, if you will. <laughs> oh my God, don't get any ideas, ladies. It's like really small and dense. No one wants that. The wand itself looks amazing. Like this is the kind of wand that I vibe for right there. Like it's just, it's not too fat and it doesn't grab too much product. Like the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced, I don't know why people love it so much. I'll never understand. It's like, it grabs way too much product for me. Like it's just like clump, clump, clump. Like it doesn't, I need something that's gonna like lengthen but also give volume, which is why I usually do two different mascaras. I do a lengthening first and then a volumizer. Volumizing, yeah, you get it. I got this one by Givenchy. And honestly, this just looks like a really pretty upscale mascara. And I love that it does not grab too much product. This is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. And the packaging looks exactly like 
their foundation stick as well. So this one is like a shorter, a little bit thinner. I don't wanna say chunky, but definitely shorter, which is fine with me because some mascaras, like the wands are too long, like the Dior Show mascara, it's so long that I feel like as I'm applying my mascara, I'm about to hit myself in the nose with the wand because it's like this long. And I'm like, this is not necessary. Like I prefer a shorter wand actually. I also got the Lancome primer as well. It's this little guy right here. I like this wand way more than the Grande one. I'm just excited to try primers because I've never been like a primer, like a lash primer gal, but I might be, you never know. This is the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. This is like so cool, this packaging. It's like reflective and pink and fun. Holy shit, that's big. That is interesting, that wand, but I will probably end up loving it because it's not picking up too much product. And that is what I'm all about where, as I just said, the Better Than Sex by Too Faced picks up way too much product for me. Marc Jacobs right here. I can already tell just by first impression. I don't think I'm gonna like this. I can just tell it's like very spiky in the wand and I usually don't like those, but I will still try it. This is another primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lash Primer. Ugh, <laughs> see, it's a plastic spiky wand, but I might like this one because it's a primer, not an actual mascara. So I actually might like this. This Bobbi Brown one right here, it looks like it might be great for lower lashes. It's so little, it picks up barely any product. And I love how like tiny and precise it is. So I bought this because I was thinking lower lashes only because I never use the same mascara on my top lash as I do on my bottom. I'm very, very, very picky about my bottom lashes. This is the last mascara right here by Anastasia. And this is like, Beautiful packaging and very heavy. This is so pretty, this packaging. It's like a rose gold to ombre black. Damn, that wand is like heavy, but that wand looks really nice. So we're done with the mascara blackout. Okay, so I got a few things from Patrick Ta. I think it's so cool that he not only has a brand, but has a brand in Sephora. This one right here, this is his body brush. I have been so into brushes recently, you guys. I had a separate blackout over on Ulta, maybe like two weeks ago, and I bought so many brushes. I feel like brushes are not something that are talked about enough, and I have said that since the very beginning of my channel because it is so important when it comes to anything, when it comes to tanning and applying your sunless tanner, when it comes to body highlight, when it comes to every single thing on your face, foundation, powder, concealer, like the brush and the tools that you use are so important. It doesn't matter how good the product is. So I have been just like on the hunt for the best brushes in the world. Holy crap, this is amazing. I have been using a brush by Iconic London to apply my summer tanner that I love so much, but I'm always looking for improvement. And this is just like, this is amazing. I do wanna do a tanning video for you guys soon. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna film it without being in a bathing suit. But yeah, got that body brush. This packaging is so beautiful. It's called Monochromatic Moment Velvet Blush in the shade She's Sincere. Looks like that right there. It has his logo printed into the actual blush, which is super cool. You guys know that I am like blush obsessed. I mean, I know I love all makeup, but like I'm really blush obsessed. Okay, so this is like extremely velvety and extremely sheer. Like I'm digging my hand into it so I can get a swatch for you guys. Like you can see it's very, very sheer, but also has like a really beautiful natural luminosity. So it's one of those products I would have to try my actual cheeks to know if I'm gonna love it or not, but I just love blush in general. Manny's brand, I've been using his blush palette like crazy the past couple of weeks. It's been my favorite, like my go-to. Then the last product that I got from Patrick Ta is a lip crayon in the shade She's Proud. It's angled, like it's an angled lip pencil. You press the button on the bottom, like that, and it pushes it up and looks like that. So I'm excited to try it because it's something new. Oh my God, the formula is beautiful. It's so creamy and that color is beautiful. Okay, so I recently fell in love with this foundation. It's by Pat McGrath Labs. Oh my God, this foundation, you guys, is so good. And you know how picky I am about foundations. I feel like my entire career in like seven years, I've probably only said like, I'm obsessed with this foundation maybe 10 times. Like I am a psychopath about foundations. And this is so beautiful. And of course the packaging is always amazing. The bottle is gorgeous. It's so expensive. Like it's so expensive. It's like $70 for this foundation. Like it's really quite out of this world expensive, but it is such a beautiful foundation. I have it in one shade and I was just like, Holy cow, I put on my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I put like a few stripes of that on my face and then I go over it with this. Oh my God, it is just so 
gorgeous. It is definitely a sheer to medium coverage, but the finish is just so beautiful and it's so buildable and I am, I'm obsessed. So I got three different shades because I am very high maintenance when it comes to everything in life, but especially foundation shades and bronzer shades because I can go from being so light and so pale to very tan depending how much sunless tanner I decide to put on and how bronzed I wanna be. So I always have to buy several shades of my favorite foundation. That way I can make it work. And then speaking of Pat McGrath, I also got another shade of concealer from her because I feel like such an old school YouTuber right now holding this up for you guys like this. Like why do you even need to see a concealer that close? Like it's so silly, but it's like such old school days. But Pat McGrath concealer is so beautiful. It's what I'm wearing right now on my under eye. I do have it mixed with Morphe today. Don't ask, but I have both concealers on my under eye. But this concealer is beautiful. I wear it all the time and it feels like the bottle itself is so heavy and feels so luxe. That's what I love about her brand is everything is so consistently luxurious and it's just, Amazing, such a good formula, so good. Another Pat McGrath product that I got, which is crazy, you guys. Like, I still can't even believe that I came in for Pat McGrath. That's so weird to me. Still to this day, when I buy a lot of makeup and spend a lot of money on it, it like takes me back to the days where all I wanted to do was be able to buy makeup. I've talked to you guys about this so much, and it's just so weird that I am able to buy it now. I'm like, what the heck, it's just, it's so crazy. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. I didn't even know that she had a primer. I didn't even know she came out with a primer. So I'm so excited to try this because I'm always looking for a new good primer, one that's not gonna irritate me, clog my pores, break me out, make my makeup stay on, make my makeup look good, make it not crease around my nose, maybe fill in my pores a little bit, not mattify me too much. That's all I'm asking for. So I just have like random stuff in here that really aren't like categorized, don't fit into a category. So I'm just gonna talk about them. This right here, why have I never jumped onto this bandwagon? I don't know. Because I found out that Benefit is like the number one leader in cosmetics for brows as of right now. So I was like, I gotta buy some Benefit. So I bought their, oh my God. Benefit, this is their ultra fine brow defining pencil, precisely my brow pencil looks like this right here. Tiny, tiny on top and then a little spoolie on bottom. I don't know what makes it so great, but I wanna find out, so I bought it. I actually don't know if I'm gonna love it because of the fact that I always use the Anastasia Brow Definer that's like fatter and thicker and it's like angled because I just don't like taking a lot of time on my brows. It drives me crazy, but I'm still excited. I'll especially use it on the inner corner of my brow. Give myself a little fake brow hair, but since they're doing so good in brow department, I was like, I gotta try this. I also bought their Benefit Give Me Brow. I've seen it a million times. I've also owned it. I've tried it once, I think, or twice. I'm not sure, you guys. I try a lot of stuff, so I forget. But it's this teeny, itsy, bitsy, little itty bitty spoolie that you can use to like, go through your brow hairs. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing because it's like, Everyone loves it. Ooh, I forgot this. I didn't realize I had one more product by Patrick Ta. This is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush in the shade Do We Know Her? <laughs> so cute. I love this idea. It's got a cream blush and then a powder blush. And I have been all about the cream br brush. Keep cream. <laughs> I have been all about the cream blush life recently. I've been using them a lot and buying a ton of them just to play with them because it's something that I have not worn basically like ever in my life. I've never been like an expert in cream blush. I feel like the majority of cream blushes are too oily and I want a cream blush that's gonna set more like a satin powder. Oh, this is a mascara that I forgot to talk about. It's by the brand Ilia. I think that's how you pronounce it right there. I think it's a newer brand that's been put in Sephora, but the reviews are amazing. People are really loving it. This is called the Limitless Lash Mascara. And again, ugh, damn it. The wand is a plastic spiky wand. <laughs> I have to unbutton my pants. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh my God. I got this Lip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick by Fenty called Makeup Break. I was just really curious because I have not tried these. It looks like this. And because I've been wearing so much more like natural-esque makeup recently, I'm really in, oh my God, this is freaking beautiful. Okay, swatched it right there where you can see. So pretty and natural. When I do like really natural looking makeup, just like 
I'll spot conceal, and then I will do cream bronzer, mascara, I'll barely do my brows, little cream blush, and I always do a tiny bit of lip liner that's like very, very, very natural looking to my actual lip tone. And then I'll put over like a little gloss or a little balm or something like that. So something like this will be ideal for days like that for me when I don't want a full face and I just wanna do like a quick out the door moment. I got this Hourglass concealer right here. They actually sent these to me in PR and I gave all of them away. So I realized, what was I thinking? I wanna try it. So I ordered a couple of shades for myself. Oh my God, this is amazing. I have not tried it on my face. So I'm not saying it's an amazing concealer, but it feels like butter, but that could also mean it's gonna be a creasy mess. We'll find out. I got this NARS concealer. This has been around for such a long time. I used to use it all the time. I did not get this for my under eye. I got it for carving out my brows. It makes it easier than having to put concealer on the back of your hand and then work off the back of your hand to carve out your brows, just having a little pot. So I just bought this in the shade Custard. Yeah, in the shade Custard, just simply to carve and sculpt my brows and that's it. I got a couple shades of concealer, two shades of concealer, again from the brand Ilia. It's called the True Skin Serum Concealer because again, the reviews are just so amazing. It's like Sephora has this whole clean beauty thing on their website and I was interested to try a serum concealer. Oh my God, this feels amazing and the coverage is bomb. I thought it was gonna be like basically no coverage since it's a serum. I thought it was gonna be like super, super, super light coverage but this looks amazing. Oh my God, you guys, I have another <laughs> Patrick Ta product. I was like, let me just show you guys these three Patrick Ta products that I have. And now I'm like, there's more, there's more. This is the Patrick Ta Monochromatic Moment Silky Lip Cream. The color just looked so pretty and yep, I was right. That color is gorgeous. You know me, we can never have enough nudes. We can never have enough light baby pinks. We just, we can, no. Not enough. I got this eyeliner from Pat McGrath. It's honestly just like a simple coal liner like that. I got it in the shade black and brown just because I love a good eyeliner, I'll be honest. The one by Morphe, you guys, is the one that I constantly use. It's so good, it doesn't bleed on me. It doesn't, like, it doesn't run at all. It stays in place all day. Like I do my gel liner like I have right now on my top and then I take that eyeliner and I go over top of it to make it even blacker and just keep everything in place and looking good. I love it, but I'm still always like, always looking for new good things. So I wanna try out her liners as well. Okay, so the rest of my basket is all things are not makeup. The first thing that I have right here, which is so interesting, it's this brand called Juliet Has a Gun, right? I don't understand why it is called this at all, but that's the name. And they have a perfume that I love so much and it's called This Is Not A Perfume. So Juliet has a gun, this is not a perfume. And it smells so good. Nikita Dragon was talking about it on her Insta story and I was just like, oh my God, what a weird name. But then I was like, I gotta try it. This girl is talking about how incredible it is and she always smells so good. I'm like, let me try. I bought it and I was like, oh crap. So now I use it all the time. It's so good. And they have this little travel, little like sample thing right here. This one already fell out. Like it's supposed to be sitting up in there and it already fell down there but it looks like that and it's just all different scents and I'm really, really, really excited to try it because the one that I have is so damn good. So I just was really pumped to try all those. Okay, so I used to own this product back in the day and I loved it so much. I completely forgot about it until I was on the Sephora website and I was like, whoa, why have I not used that? It's been years and it's by the brand Verb and it's just their sea spray right here. So I have naturally extremely straight hair. It takes a lot for me to get texture into my hair and volume. It's just like straight and flat. I have very fine hair, but a ton of it. That's what I've always been told by hairdressers. I have a lot of it, but it's very, very, very fine and thin, but thank God I have a good amount of it. I just can't get volume. So this right here, this used to give me so much volume and so much texture. So I thought I would repurchase it and try it and hopefully I still love it and it can still help a bitch out because God knows I need it. Then I saw that the same brand came out with this spray and this is for when your hair is dry and this is the C Texture Spray. It says that it is light hold, dry volume and weightless grit. So I am so excited because I am someone who needs grit in my hair. I need texture, I need volume, I need all that stuff. So anything that will, hold on. Oh, bitch, I'm gonna be in it. it. Smells really fresh. Yeah, on the back it says it's supposed to give your hair natural lived in texture with light hold and volume. 
That's exactly what I am looking for. If you guys have any suggestions of products that give you great volume, please let me know. I'm all about that. This right here is the Bumble and Bumble. Again, another brand that I used to use like crazy back in the day and I have not used that much as of recently. They have a dry shampoo, like a volumizing powder that I love and I use all the time though. This is their thickening spray. It says that it preps hair for lush blow dries. So you spray it in your hair and then when you're ready to blow dry it, what I will do sometimes is actually spray products like this in my hair let my hair air dry and then the next day I'll run a blow dryer through it and it will still give me volume. It's like the heat activates the thickening spray. Like letting your hair air dry doesn't really activate it. I love thickening sprays though. I have tons of them. I spray one in my hair every single time I wash it. I got two living proof products. Again, similar issues. Like I buy the like the same types of products from every single brand because I always want to know the best ones for my sad, flat, non-thick, non-full, non-volumized hair. This is the full thickening cream. It says that it's for boosting body. So I have not tried this product ever and I'm really, really excited to. Sometimes I try hair products and I put it in my hair and I dry it and I'm like, great, I have to wash my hair again. That didn't work. So I always like to use a really small amount before I Take it there. Okay, so again, this is by Living Proof and this is their full dry volume blast. It says instant lasting volume and texture and that's all it's supposed to do. You're supposed to lift it up, spray it in your roots, kind of just like and it's just supposed to give you a volume and texture throughout the day. Again, this is what I'm looking for. Give it to me dirty. By way, I love this brand so much. This is Jen Atkins brand. She is, I just think that she is so sweet. I don't actually know her personally, which is crazy. I've never actually met her, but she is so sweet to me on Instagram and just through DMs. She's just, she's a sweetheart. And I think it's really awesome that she created this. Like literally like started from the bottom, now we're here. I got the texturizing hairspray, which I love. It's one of my favorite hairsprays ever on the market. And then I also got the heat protectant spray, which I have not tried yet, but I need to because I am not good about heat protectant. I don't use that much heat on my hair ever, honestly. Like I'm really good about that. But when I do, I do not use a protectant and I need to. So speaking of heat protector, I got this one as well. And this is by the brand Dry Bar. It's called Hot Toddy. It says before ironing. So after you've blow dried and you're about to go in with a curling wand or a flat iron, you use like a fine little mist on your hair and then go in and it's supposed to protect. How much you guys think these things actually work? Like, do you think it's actually protecting our hair or it's just like a gimmick? Like, ooh, use this, buy our products. But like, is it really protecting? Like, what do you think? Cause I don't know, I don't know about hair. I use this like crazy. This is a Bumble and Bumble product that I can not live without. I have used it consecutively for probably five plus years. This is called their Thickening Dry Spun Texture Spray. Anytime I've been on set, every hairdresser always has this. They're always using it. It's so amazing. Like it's got such a like aggressive sprayer to it. It smells so good. And it just gives you, you just like shake out your hair and spray it. It gives you so much volume and just like texture. I'm like, ugh. It is a good product and I was running low, so got a new one. And then I got two deodorants because I'm all about using natural deodorants. I have not used a deodorant from the drugstore in years and years and years. I've been using natural deodorant now for probably like four, five, six years maybe. It's been a long time. I got this one right here by the brand Pharmacy and it's called Freshen Up. It has great reviews. And then of course, it's got the Best of Beauty Allure stamp. And then this one right here, I don't know how to pronounce this. What is that, Briogeo? I don't know, but again, two clean deodorants and I wanna try them both. All right, you guys, that is it for this video, for this haul. I feel like the majority of this haul was like hair care, body products and mascara, but like that's where I've been recently. I've been playing with makeup and loving makeup so much, but like I have been so focused on mascara and body products, like especially skincare. I've been taking such good care of my skin, like inside and out, like as far as like what I'm feeding myself, I sound like an animal, what I'm feeding myself, what I'm eating and it's what I'm putting into my body, what I'm putting onto my skin, you know, eating tons of fruits and vegetables, drinking so much water, so, so, so much water, taking so many supplements, vitamins and minerals and just all sorts of things. So I'm really excited about the body products and really excited about the mascaras because I'm just on this journey. If you guys have mascaras that you think that I would love, even though I feel like I literally at this point own every single one of them because I also have like another 20 upstairs that I've been trying. So, so yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the next video. I wanna do a makeup tutorial, but I don't know what kind of makeup to do. Like, I'm just not sure. Cause I feel like everything has been done. And I'm like, I wanna do something that you guys are actually gonna enjoy and be like, oh yeah. And not just be like, eh, we've seen this before, you know? So let a hoe know. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.